Right, I'm just going to show you a little test here. This is why we can test to see if we have any uh, petrol contamination in your diesel fuel system. What we've got is uh, three ice cream containers here. Um, we've used two litres as the as the uh, the quantity. So and then we've varied the uh, percentage of petrol that we've put into it. So 10%. We've obviously got uh, 200 mil of petrol added to 1800 mil of diesel, 5% petrol and 2% petrol. So what we do, we just get these polystyrene drink cups, we pop one in each, and we're going to cover it up and check it tomorrow morning. And if the petrol is going to have eaten a cup. Sometimes it's a little hard to smell petrol if it's in a, a very small quantity, very small percentage. So we've just tried to we, we've just tried a, a couple of different percentages. Like I say, two percent, five percent, ten percent. Now we're just going to cover it up four flute sign here, cover it up overnight and just check again tomorrow just so we don't get any evaporation. Right here we are the next day with our cups, uh, polystyrene cups, so been submersed in the diesel and petrol mixture. Start off with the 2%, as you can see the cup's been deformed that's just two percent. That's forty mil dropped into uh, 1960 mil of diesel. That shows you the two percent, five percent. Same thing, a bit worse, obviously. And finally, ten percent. Not much left of the cup. So if you suspect that you've got petrol uh, mixed in with your diesel, this is probably a good way to, best way to just, just give you an idea quickly. Drop some in a container, sit it overnight with a polystyrene cup in it. Oh, and before turning the camera off yesterday, I took a new cup, 100% uh, clean diesel and drop the cup in there, and you can submerge it in there, as you can see, the cup's fine, untouched. Hope this helps someone out.